Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. Uh, we're going to get right into it. No bumpers. So this is 133 favorite artists. All the criteria is below. You know, I'm not getting a lot of views, but this is really important to me. And, and it's original content. So uh, I love rankings. And today we're on artist number 106, I believe. 106 out of 133. And I'll let you know if I've seen the artists live in concert and anything that's particular in that sense. Well, this artist, it's interesting. We're talking about an Americana artist, 56 years old, who performs as a duo. And her roots, she was born in New York City and then moved to Los Angeles as a child. So nothing that you would think of as being particularly Americana. And she met her uh, performing partner in Boston, but she was adopted and she may have some uh, biological roots in Appalachia. So I'm a big fan and I have seen this person in concert. By the way, before I forget, hit that like or subscribe button. Uh, it really helps. I have a Patreon page. You can check the link out below, but Anyway, who am I talking about? Someone I saw in June of 2018 talking about Gillian Welch, who performs with David Rawlings. And this is fantastic Americana. Um, the two albums that I have, I have Revival, which is her debut, produced by T-Bone Burnett. And shortly after that, she worked with him on the Oh Brother, Where Art Thou soundtrack. She and Alison Krauss did I'll Fly Away and uh, other pieces like that. Then uh, my favorite album of hers is Time the Revelator. Time the Revelator. This is fantastic. Elvis Presley's Blues, Ruination Day. Um, and the album that I don't own that I also really like is Harrow and the Harvest. So what do I like about her? Well, she's a great composer. But then she sings these songs with kind of a mournful sadness. Um, some of the songs are sad, but even the happy songs have kind of a plaintive, kind of sad, kind of uh, vocal style. Uh, but I don't get sad listening to her. I just, um, I find her voice beautiful. But yeah, it's got a lot of emotion and character in it. And her songs are fantastic. She's not real prolific. She only, she went like, uh, I don't know, eight or ten years between albums at one point. Uh, she and David take their time, and he's done a number of solo projects. But the concert that I saw in 2018 was fantastic. And for the encore, this was an acoustically perfect building. And she wanted to do an experiment and they turned all the amplifiers off. Yeah. And asked the audience to be really still. And they got up there and they did the encore unamplified and we could hear it. That was really sweet. So I remember the show very well, bumped into some people I knew there who were huge fans and that's it. So if you're a fan, let me know in the comments. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.